Yeah. Jesus Christ, the fucking gas coming out of you. Huh? Oh, man, I got the shit farts and the braps and all kind of them. <laughs> shit farts and the braps? <laughs> sounds like the worst, like, indie band ever. <laughs> we only have vinyl! <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to Pixel Junkies. Hey, hello! We are playing The Division. I'm yeah, Aaron. Karen's Gordon. on a quest to meet the manager again. Yeah. And the manager is George Washington's ghost, if oh. I remember the canon I set up in the first episode. This doesn't, uh, this mission doesn't have a challenging difficulty. Oh, sweet. I don't know why, the, people hot ass out. <laughs> like that guy still, it's the apocalypse, but he still has his fucking fedora on or trilby, <laughs> whatever the fuck it is. Yeah, I played this mission. How did you? Yeah. And I'm remembering bits and pieces of missions. I, I do. I remember getting really fucking raged out. Is this the war on Christmas that Fox News warned us about? Yeah, I guess so. There you go, and you had an Emma Watson look-alike on the wall. Oh. Yeah. You mean Femma... Femma Onsen. Or like... Wemma... Wemma Eltsen. That doesn't really work that way, right? Wemma Eltsen sounds like a, like a Soviet knockoff. <laughs> I'm sure they got it over there. Yeah. So she got like she, she's like a cam girl. Ugh. Like, that's like a communist cam girl, who uh, I don't know shoots nukes or whatever. At hurricanes. Yeah. She's like uh, uh, nuke Ardium <laughs> Levy uh, death to America. That's more Middle Eastern thing than Russia. Is well, I don't know. Burn the. Uh, Nukeum, Trump is a cool guy, Osa. There you go. <laughs> that's, that's like the secret agent they get to infiltrate Trump's inner circle, and it's like, watch, like this woman comes up, like, yes, I am American student, yeah, I'm here because I like President Trump, and President Trump's like, really? Then what is your name? And I don't know why, I can't do a Trump, a Trump impression. <laughs> And uh, she's like, uh, Ivanka, Trump is the cool guy, big dick. She's like, I like the cut of your jib. Welcome aboard. I think she's a spy, sir. It's like, it says Russian spy on her t-shirt. Oh, I'm on fire. I shouldn't have ran. I, I assumed that running past it would be fine. But, uh, not, not the case. Yeah, it's only Black Widow, man. When we get in that Black Widow movie already? Uh, it's him filming right now, I believe. Do it I think already. it's coming out next year. It's gonna be two hours of her sitting at the bottom of that, uh, <laughs> chasm. <laughs> it's just bleeding. <laughs> Scarlett Johansson being like, you know, I was, I've been in the movie since the beginning. Since Iron Man 2, really. I've been in here longer than Chris Evans and, and, and uh, Chris Hemsworth. And when did Captain America come out? Is that after Iron Man 2? Uh, yeah. It was oh. Iron Man, then Iron Man 2, then Captain America. Oh. Because when Iron Man 1, they're like, oh, hey, this is good enough for a sequel, but, you know, like, I know you're building the wards like the Avengers, but we're not serious about this. Then Iron Man 2 came out and did really well. I was like, oh, okay, yeah, well, let's, let's do the Avengers. Let's, 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 let's roll this dice. And then Avengers made more money than was physically possible, and Disney went, ka <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> we're gonna make, like, 70 more of these. Is there another echo here? We'll how see what happened. Like the the CEO of Disney is like, all right, how much how much returns are we getting on these Marvel movies? And and his like chief financial officer is like, well, here's how much money we're doing. I'm seriously tempted to get. I'm straight. I can bang any woman I want, but I'm seriously tempted to get down your dick and start sucking. <laughs> all right, whip those pants off. Scandies dollar dollar bills. What is this? Urban Planet. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, is that still a thing? Yeah, it is. There's one in the uh, mall and it's awful. All the jeans are too tight because I'm fat. Also, they're like for, for like fault. teenagers. Do you want to look like a fucking tramp? Then come like in here. All seven year olds running around. <laughs> yeah. I still no one of your pants fit me. Like, like no. Fucking ages eight, sir. Well, who set up the candles? 2019. I can be eight if I want. I don't know, I guess there's people... There were a couple of survivors running around in here, so... I guess that was You think, you think one guy the... in here is like, No, no, has anyone seen the movie Dawn of the Dead? Anyone? Oh, man, you broke it. Yeah. Christmas is ruined. Yeah, fuck it. Take that, Santa Claus. Santa Claus? Yeah. Arnold <laughs> Schwarzenegger, is that you again? Damn it. Again, these guys just seem to take the bullets, really. Yeah, they're minorities, man. They're invisible. 
That's why we gotta get him over that wall and build it. All those don't break, I guess. Those must be metal ones. Imagine all that is blown. It's not plastic or anything. It's blown glass. <laughs> Stop breaking them. That's the most valuable thing in here. They survived up till now, and then some woman comes and just shoots them. I was like, no! What's this? My dad died! Blew out his lung! Trying to get that. <laughs> Blew out his lung. <laughs> Here's the, the deepest breath in all of America. I gotta, I gotta complain for a little bit. So, my, my, my grandmother uh, had this really gorgeous set of ornaments for her tree, and they were like from 1920. They were absolutely beautiful. When she moved out of her house and into a home, uh, somebody was like, make, one of our family members was like, make sure you, those are kept and they're not, because we were in the process of throwing out, all, you know, all of her stuff that she didn't need. And then, like, and then you opened it and there was a sticker and it said, like, made by Jews in Auschwitz or something. You're like, no. wow. No, it wasn't it, that. Hitler. No, we were like, make sure you save these. Powered by Hitler. Because, you know, we can we can divide them up amongst the family members and make sure everyone gets some of them because they're really beautiful. And my aunt, who was in charge of it, was like, yeah, sure. And then we come comes around to Christmas, you know, Grant, you know, she's dead, and somebody asks like, "Hey, what about the, uh, the the ornaments?" And they're like, "Oh yeah, uh, we actually threw those out." Like, did you? Did you really? Okay. Let's rule them out. These are useless. <laughs> See, they broke real easy. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, Dad's got Dad's got stories like that too, where because Dad Dad loved Marvel comics when he was a kid, because it was like the fifties and sixties, and there was nothing to do other than read comics. That's what I do now. Uh, so he had all kind of comics. He had like a lot of the number ones, like Spider-Man and all that kind of shit. He had a Spider-Man number one. Yeah. That's worth like uh, thousands of dollars. Yeah. And uh, anyway, he came home from school one day. Uh, yeah, high school, I guess. And uh, his brother and his dad had taken basically everything he owned and brought it to the landfill. Why? Yeah. I <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Fuck you, I don't like know that. what the fuck they were doing. <laughs> and he was like, "What?" Like, yeah, he's still salty about it, as you would be. Yeah. He's like, "Fuck Isn't me." These were so much. Well, hang on. Let's look at how much it was. It like, is it Spider Man number one or Amazing Comics number fifteen or whatever? Uh, no, I think it was. It was like original Spider Man. It wasn't like Amazing Fantasy or whatever. I don't think. Uh, maybe he had those. I haven't really asked him about it. But he, he had like Thor and all that, all that shit. Like a lot of, I would say, leading up to like up to like Captain Marvel, but like when he was a dude, and then I think right around there is probably when he stopped. Well, I think at some point he just like stopped collecting them, and then like in the seventies stopped reading them and shit. One of the one of those amazing fantasy number, like was it fifteen or whatever, just uh, apparently sold uh, back in two thousand and sixteen for. <laughs> Four hundred and fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> yeah. Now, I mean, you know, that's probably like an ultra mint condition. That never. Yeah, yeah. That that's copy. a that's a that's a ten on the mint condition scale. Yeah. So I mean, the dad's copy was probably well used. But I still, yeah. I mean, even a well used copy would probably net you somewhere in like the the, the yeah. thousands of dollars. And and even 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 in that sense, like if he still had him, my daddy part with him anyway. Well, yeah. But why would they just throw everything out? Like fuck I you, know. I guess. No idea. It's like did it's like he comes home and his room is bare. Like even like they took the they took the like the 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 um, covers off the off the light switches and stuff. It's like what? <laughs> what? I think Why? It, I think it was more like, you know, you're you're growing up now. You don't need none of that uh, kid shit. Get rid of that. I like, hate that fucking attitude. Oh, you're growing. You're 18 now. Time to put all your comic books away and not be not have anything fun to do. Better watch sports. Yeah. That, Sports and work, that's all there is to life. It's like, can I read? No! Why are you some sort of fucking f asshole? <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, I don't know. And obviously that mentality seems to be dying a bit. Yeah, because like, coffee. Because, the, like, the people who grew up as nerds told to, like, Oh, you're all nerds, stop liking that nerd shit. Like, they're all adults now with children, and they're like, yeah. Play games, kids. Yeah. Do whatever you want. Be free and like what you like. But, uh... Fucking threw it out. God damn it. <laughs> yeah. I was like, fuck me. <laughs> Can you imagine, like, your dad's at lunch or something in school, and, and, his, and he's, like, looking for his brother. It's like, oh, I wonder where he is. It's like, oh, he went home early today. Your dad picked him up 
uh, just before lunch. Said he had something important to do. It's like, oh, I wonder what that's about. And they're busy, like, hawking comics into the fire. <laughs> like, Amazing yeah. Stories number 15, Action Comics number 1. This will never be worth anything. Yeah. The Hope Diamond. And, like, the funny thing about, like, well, the my dad's brother, like, he didn't really do school. He kind of, like, dad was a... This entitles me to throw out somebody else's thing. His dad was a taxidermist and a fisherman, so he kind of worked with him. Um, so that's what he he kind of did that instead of school. But it's kind of like funny now because he's go, he's always going around like, oh, I found these old rare coins. I'm gonna try and sell these down at uh, Regatta. It's like, you fucking idiot! <laughs> oh man, how much am I gonna get for this like typoed version of a 1950s nickel? Like, or you could have had, you know, all those Marvel comics. Yeah. Well, whatever. The contaminated area. Be a piece of garbage, I guess. He's alright, dude, but I mean, kids are kids, you know. <laughs> Was he older or younger than your dad? I slightly older. I would be, be, if I came home and somebody had thrown out all of my things, I would be so fucking livid. <laughs> yeah. I've spent, like, thousands of dollars on my things, like, just the books alone. Like, you don't need any more of that D&D. &D. And I'm like, I've spent, like, hundreds of dollars on this. <laughs> Never mind, like, the, the value of having the thing. Yeah, and, like, the but, joy I get from it, yeah. the, you know. But, like, the monetary value that you've invested into it, like... I'm not saying I'm gonna get my monies back or anything, but, I, you know, I don't feel like I don't have to because it's... You well, know, you have nice... the thing. It's money you don't need to spend again. Right? Yeah. It's like me would... Like, now I have, you know, a lot of games are digital, obviously, now. And most of my games are on Steam. And someday in the future, don't let Epic hear that. Who knows? Maybe Steam won't be. Jesus. <laughs> well, maybe I don't have like ten propane bottles on you. It was Hank Hill. <laughs> Hank Hill's <laughs> revenge. Hot tail, you want? Uh, Should have went with charcoal. You know, maybe someday in the distant future, Steam won't really be a usable service anymore. I kind of hope that if Steam ever does go down, they'll. Like, a lot of the developers will make offline versions of their games so that yeah. they can kind of be used offline and kind of retroactively modified that way. But in terms of, like, actual video games, I do have a lot of physical copies of games as well, and especially, like, games that are not on Steam. If, 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 your, if, your dad, fucking... if your dad grew up today, your his dad would have gone to Steam and shut the servers down. <laughs> Show me, Gabe. Can you shut it down, please? <laughs> My kid's 18. You don't need none of this garbage. He's 10. He's got to learn to man up. Yeah. Learn how to uh, jerk off and fuck women, I guess. Nothing else to do. He's got to learn how to. It's the 1950s. He's got to learn how to disrespect women. <laughs> Why is this a black man? <laughs> Don't get me started on them. All right, so we got uh, broad Broadway done. So the idea there was to track down bum, some of the uh, original bum, deployment bum, locations bum, of the of bum, the bum. of the dollar flu, which is the smallpox virus. The dollar flu sounds like the worst SoundCloud rapper I've ever heard of in my life. Yo, this is little dollar flu with Man, the coming at you with, with <laughs> <laughs> shitty farts and the burps or whatever. <laughs> Alright, so let's go there. We gotta run all the way up there. Are we at, at least she's getting her here? steps in. Okay. Uh, so I'm not giving you a med Shoot pack. him and take okay. his hat. Learn how to speak English. You're basically... <laughs> That's what he says, you take his hat from him, because you basically become the SS. <laughs> this is mine now, get to the ghetto. It's like, we're in the ghetto. It's like, we'll get into the worst ghetto. He runs up to a division agent, he's like, doesn't speak English, like, can you help me with anything? And can you, Do you have anything that I can have? Bonjour, he's like, die, terrorist! <laughs> get the fuck out of my way. So New York looking alright. Uh, That's C N dash N. C N dash N? Or, or cn dot ctd stay con connected oh connected oh that's so dumb yep nice job Microsoft I really thought you were gonna say the other c word yeah con con acted yeah. that was a dog doing oh alright he's a turbo flip flipped out <laughs> I don't know if you can hear it on the audio but uh at this as it'll be spotty at these couple these next couple episodes maybe the fucking there's a party oh, going down. Uh, what is it? There, well, there are people downstairs going to town on the Bevs, yeah, but uh, there's also the fucking the lifting station up the street exploded a couple weeks back, so... The lifting uh, station of poop. It lifts poop. It's a, the yeah, pipes. it's a... Oh, yeah, these are buddies. <laughs> it lifts poop. 
as a pump house, like a sewage treatment plant. And uh, it literally exploded uh, twice. Uh, both times showering shit on people, the second time on residents in the area. Uh, and uh, they're currently pumping it out manually because if they don't pump it out, the sewage will back up and everybody's house will fill with shit. So they have a number of pumps going to uh, clear out the sewage. And uh, it's quite noisy, so if you hear any, like, droning pump noises, that's probably what it is. So there you go. That's what that's that's my life the last two weeks. Fucking. I'm gonna read out the CBC article. Yeah, it's finally gotten to the point. Like I've been telling Adam and and the rest of our friends about the nonsense going on up the street, but it's finally made headlines because the dude well, living just, on that let corner me just read it out. showered with feces. On Wednesday evening, Clark and his family went out their door to see what was going on at the site where town oh. crews are working on sewage lines. The new pipe they put in is actually busted and sewage was spraying like 30 feet, 9.1 meters, in the air, Clark said. We went out on our front step to see what was going on. It actually sprayed into our faces and all over us, so it's all over the house, us and the land. Clark said his family went back inside to clean up, but it should have never been reduced to this. He says it keeps getting worse. He's been living in this home since 2004 and said there have been problems with the town's sewage system since the first day. This is the sixth or seventh incident, he said, uh -huh. adding his lawn and property were, were earlier flooded with seeping sewage, which is probably the worst type of sewage, sewage that seeps, as well as untreated waste coming up through this basement pipes. God damn. It's yep. so gross. When you got corn skins floating around the lawn, yeah. <clears throat> I want to move. What a stupid fucking food. Like, our stomach, if you put a penny in it, it'll dissolve that, but the corn <laughs> husk <can't. laughs> Fuck that. I can't put in the yellow shit. I'm like, what doing... is this? Titanium? <laughs> to, to like some fucking alien species that comes to Earth. Yeah. Like corn is it's the like superpower. Like the King Ghidorah of, uh, of, um, of like plants or whatever. It's fighting tomatoes at the Alpha. They have, they have interstellar travel and like energy weapons and turbo like diamond armor. And they like watch somebody eat a corn tortilla and they're like, Whoa! <laughs> Get out of the spaceship. We gotta get out of here. <laughs> These fuckers are eating this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> we planted the corn so it would wipe them out as some Holy sort of biological weapon. They've adapted to pretty much eat it. They're immune to it and it's in all of their foods. It's even in their insulation and their clothing. Christ, they, they heat it up and put butter on it. And <laughs> get the fuck out of here. <laughs> they flavor stuff to taste like it. <laughs> These are animals. You guys are fucked. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. here. <laughs> Quick, release the virus. Wipe them out. Sir, they all have universal health care except for one country. Fuck! Oh, man, that's so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I hate when we laugh at our own jokes because it makes us sound fucking conceited. Because it's so stupid. We're not funny. It's just fucking dumb. <laughs> fucking the human body is shit. Requires like ten hours of sleep every day. It is fucking like <laughs> half ten hours of sleep can't digest one corn. <laughs> you put a fucking handful of corn kernels in it, it like completely shuts it down. Send it on through. It's all stupid. <laughs> That's what's backing up the pipes up there. Somebody ate one corn of cob. I told you to install the eight inch corn pipe. <laughs> Probably <laughs> like corn plug fire out of it. <laughs> you know Wednesday's corn day, they're all gonna be firing on through. We gotta have all three pumps on. And we backed up here. Like, well, he just pushed my corn. <laughs> we sucked out uh, 36 feet of feces to get to the pumps, and the bottom four feet were just straight corn. <laughs> The pumps couldn't handle it. <laughs> There's not even any bacteria living on it. It's perfect. I could put it in my mouth and eat it. It's perfectly clean. <laughs> <That's disgusting. laughs> Doesn't even look like it was eaten. <laughs> I'm gonna run, put the pressure Some... washer on it and throw it back in. That's what they... Oh, that'd be so disgusting. <laughs> what? Just like the poo bubble down at the fucking... At our, at our harbor where all the feces come... Literally called the poo bubble because it's just like <laughs> poo gas coming off the It's fucking... not there anymore, by the way. Oh, it's not? No, it's... um. They actually managed to fix it, so oh. it's... Jesus Christ, what the fuck happened here? Oh, it's just a fallout section of the map. 
Anyway, they just have like a canning company just like canning the corn as it comes straight out of the fucking <laughs> <so> pipe. <laughs> Uh, anyway, that'll do it for this week, I guess. Oh so we'll my explore god! Amherst apartment or what's left of it next time. Jesus Christ! I'll see ya. Bye. It's so fucking good. <laughs>